Speaking of rotten timing, our next question, Jim, was sent in on Twitter using a hashtag. That would be more like a rotten rotten segue. Well, there you go. This one was sent in by James Nick. Mr. Cornell. Well, now, which, which one is it? You can only have one first name. Which one is it? It is actually one word, James, and then N-I-C, James Nick. James Nick. Okay. Well, you know, and actually, George Goulas' first publicity pictures <laughs> were labeled George. That was his full name, George Nick Goulas. Apparently, Nick wanted to make sure that everybody knew that that other wrestler named Goulas working on his shows was his <laughs> son because it would get him over stronger. George Nick Goulas. Well, here's James Nick's question. What if Bobby Eaton left instead of Dennis Condry? Uh, um. Yeah, then we were cooked. Um, you think so? Nothing yeah. you couldn't. I mean, you. I mean, Dennis may have been cooked. I hate to say it. Dennis may have been cooked because now you got to find a way to put him in a new role. But you had established yourself as that talker already. You well, were- but 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 also, but I I think honestly, uh, well, I say we, meaning we, the team of the Midnight Express. Ah, I got you. Um, but at the same time, because Bobby was the straw that stirred the drink, as as Flair would say. But also, I, Dusty, here's, the, here's what Dusty did for us. He was like, okay, guys, because I mean, he had a soft spot for Bobby, uh, d- d- definitely. I hopefully, he had one for me, too. We always got along. But if it had been Bobby t- took off, you know, it, when's the last time that at that level, a top main event team for the one of the two top promotions in the country – one of them just leaves and nobody knows why, and they allow you, okay, we're going to find you somebody, and we're going to let you keep your spot. Then Dusty made that decision in like f- five days. The only other example I could think of is Van Halen. <laughs> That's really it. <laughs> so, as, I mean, we may have been cooked, but, I mean, Dennis had great tag. Dennis was a great tag team partner of everybody but uh, in the 70s and 80s, but our spot there then would probably have been cooked. I would think. How about Dennis and Owen Hart, the Midnight Express? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> it wouldn't have worked? Okay, well, let's get another question here before you vomit all over the place. Well, Is no, that- I'm, and I'm not knocking Owen, but no, I didn't. I wouldn't have gone there out of the fucking, you know, first, uh, first time to the well. I would have. 1987, he established himself in 1986 as an amazing worker. I would have gone there. That's where well, I would have. Yeah, but, but not as Dennis Condry's partner. But you need, well... He, he's the hottest young rookie baby face. That's and, true. That's you know, true. In the fucking business, and you're going to all of a sudden, let's bring him in and make him partners with a guy he's never met in a heel team. That's I, I rescind the offer. I'll call, all right. I'll, okay. I'll call all, right. all right. All right. Just move on. Move, moving along. 